Good morning, everyone. Oh, that sun is really, really terrible. Today is a very big day, Pascal. I am so excited. Today we're going to be starting my Disney packing. I planned out my outfits yesterday, so today is going to be packing. We are in the car because I do need to go to Walmart to pick up some things, and I thought I would bring you guys along, but it's about to be a extremely very exciting day. Um, I got my list here. Yes, literally a paper list of the things I need. I got my pumpkin backpack now because we are ready for fall here, so we are all set, and we are headed to Walmart. Okay, so I just got out of Walmart and um, they didn't really have a lot of what I wanted, like at all. Um, they really, really didn't. So I, a lot of it's stuff that's like would have been really nice to have, but obviously I can skip it. And then other stuff, like they didn't have my eyelash glue, which I'm pretty much out of and definitely going to run out of if I try to use it for another week. So I'm going to check the drugstore when I go there on Wednesday to get my COVID test done. It'll be more expensive, but I need it. Um, or I might even see if I can prime it to my house for tomorrow. I'm not sure. But uh, that's the Walmart shopping. It's been about 50 bucks, so not too bad. I got some snacks and that, um, but I'll show you when we get home. Okay, we're home, we ate lunch, and we're ready to start packing. I put my hair up, because my bangs are getting unmanageable. I get my hair cut on Wednesday, two days from now, so that's okay. Um, and we're, we're literally gonna start packing. So I'll show you kind of what's going on. So as you know here, we have my love, my life, my Walt Disney World suitcase, and inside I've just started throwing random stuff. I pulled this out last week, and every time I had something, I'm like, I'm gonna need this for the trip. It went in the suitcase. So this is very full, obviously. This is a lot of stuff. Not all of this is coming with me, and obviously it will be packed a lot better. So like these, for example, I'm gonna bring like two. I also got packing cubes off Amazon, which we're gonna use for all my clothes. So this is what I did yesterday when I picked out all of my outfits. First on the floor here, we have my carry-on bag, or what will be my carry-on bag, along with a bathing suit and an extra shirt in case my luggage gets lost. I might throw a couple other pieces of clothing in there too, depending how much room I have. So airport outfit, first off we have the stuff that I would be wearing, and then we have the stuff for the actual plane. So here, I have a sweater and sweatpants because planes are always cold and literally a pair of fuzzy socks because I will take off my shoes and just put on fuzzy socks and that's how it's going to be. Hair clips in case I want to put my hair up. This is for what I'm going to be wearing in Epcot. So I do have a tank top here that I'll put under the sweatshirt no matter what. A pair of shorts for when I get to Florida because I am not wearing sweatpants in August in Epcot. That sounds terrible. Um, a magic band, bracelets, necklaces, literally like a pair of socks, my ears. Um, the whole thing like this is an entire outfit right here ready to go the next thing i'm going to explain because um a lot of you are probably like brooke you're going for eight days why are you packing so many outfits i have like 14 outfits on the floor here and that is because i wear more than one outfit in a day um two reasons i do this first off i like it for photos i like different outfits not a big deal second off it's august in florida it is hot it is sweaty i like to come back to the hotel in the middle of the day and i'll go in the pool or just like take a nap or whatever and the worst thing is having a shower after coming out of the pool. You have a shower, and then you have to get back into the dirty clothes which you just sweat in all morning. No, not for me. So I do have that change of clothes. You're gonna notice a trend of, I'm trying to do like a fancier outfit in the morning and a very like casual comfy outfit at night. Just how I like to do it, but that's kind of the trend you'll see. But these are all the outfits then. So these ones are day one, um, like full day one. This is day two, day three. Day four, you get the picture. That is also my fanny pack and mask for the plane. And then here I have shoes. I do have a lot of shoes. I'm gonna wear my filas on the plane. And then I just have like swimsuits, uh, pajamas, extra pair of leggings and socks for the hotel room because that's what I like to wear in the hotel room. The two backpacks that I'm bringing need to be emptied out, but those are the two lounge flies that I am bringing. 
But the main thing to note here is how everything is organized to a T. Like every single piece of anything I need to put on my body is in this pile. So like this outfit here, I have ears, the bracelets I want to wear, the top, the skirt, even like the shorts that go underneath the skirt, everything is in this pile. Um, like underwear and socks, which you don't need to see, all in this pile. Same with this one, same thing. We got my bracelets, my bucket hat, um, bike shorts, and a t-shirt all in that pile ready to go. Now, I've never used packing cubes before. These I got off Amazon in like January when I was supposed to go in February. I've never used packing cubes before, so this is a start for me. So it's just an Amazon thing. This is obviously like a toiletry bag, a hanging one, and then I just stuffed all <laughs> the packing cubes in the pocket here. But I think they're gonna be great for organization. So like there's this one here, um, which is a small one, another small one, a medium this one expands a lot this might be the largest one or the medium one I'm not sure um, this is the biggest one I think yeah a really big one another medium size one another medium one and then this bag here which is like an electronic organizer I think it's called there's a ton of little pockets I'm gonna use this in my carry-on um, for electronics if that's not what it's for that's what it's gonna be used for so I'm going to start I think putting the outfits into the packing cubes by outfit. Um, so everything for like the first day, like I, I'm i gonna put everything in in the order I'm going to wear it. So like day one I'll go in one bag, day two in another, etc., etc. I think I'll like the really big ones, like this one here, I might fit like three days worth in one, but that's kind of the order of things I'm going for here. <laughs> I guess I never really showed you what I got at Walmart, but I did get a bunch of snacks, so I will show you those later. Um, and then I also got these socks, so I'm just taking them out of their package now. But basically what I wanted was sneaker socks where you can't see the snock, where you can't see the sock while I'm wearing the sneakers. So these are like shorter, like no show kind of deal, um, but it just doesn't go up as high on your ankle. So as you can see, like that's gonna stop right at my ankle so that you won't be able to see them in my sneakers. So it's not just this like weird black sock sticking out of my white sneakers. So now I'm going through everything that was previously in my suitcase. There's a lot of food in here um, and then I'm taking everything that needs to go into my carry-on bag. And for now, I am just throwing it in there. Um, so I'll go over kind of with you everything that's in there after. I got these like individual wet ones packs. These are gonna be great for going to the parks in my backpack for the parks, but I won't need them on travel day because I have a different thing for my carry-on. So they're just gonna slide in there. I also prefer wearing paper masks, um, especially outdoors. So I'm bringing a ton of paper masks to Disney. I will bring some reusable ones as well, but mainly paper ones and those are gonna slide. And these are gonna be right in the top section of my suitcase there. And everything's actually starting to fit quite nicely in my suitcase there. We got all the packing cubes on here. They will compress down a bit more. My backpacks, which I will put stuff in. This one has a shirt and then a couple scrunchies in and everything is good to go here so far. Next, we're gonna do toiletries. So what I'm gonna do is pretend that I'm going through like my face routine and my skincare and all of that and take everything I need and put it in the bag. I don't leave for a few days still, so some of it I might still need. So I also brought pen and paper to write down everything that I am not able to pack yet, so I can pack it last minute on Thursday. Things I'm bringing that people might not think of, um, hand soap. I just got a little bit, enough to last me. I won't be in the hotel room much, so that should more than last me for a week. Um, but Disney has bar soap and it's not good. So bringing hand soap, definitely important. I'm also bringing my own conditioner. Disney has toiletries in the room. However, it's sea salt based and my hair always reacts very poorly to it. So I'll be using the shampoo, but the conditioner needs to be good for my hair. So I'm just bringing a little travel conditioner as well. The soap is not gonna fit in my bag here, which means I'm changing everything up a little bit. I have this bag here, which is vinyl on the inside, um, and the soap's gonna go in there. Vinyl part being very important. In case anything does spill, um, anything that has a chance of spilling now is gonna go in here so I don't have a mess to clean up later. Um, 
So other kind of random stuff as it's going in. I am going to try to bring my popcorn buckets. Um, I just didn't organize right. Ladies, remember to always bring stuff because you never know. Lysol wipes. I'm bringing a whole container. This is going to be for the hotel room um, or to refill if my little travel one runs out. But wiping down everything literally as soon as I can in the hotel room. And now let's talk snacks. Um, I would like to go on the dining plan. That would have been my preference. However, that's not available. So I'm going to try to save my money elsewhere by eating in the room a little bit. So I have a couple different options here. So first off, um, for like dinner-ish kind of deal, um, or just like if I munch in the afternoon, lunch, whatever, um, I'm just going to bring a couple of these ramen cups. You can request a microwave in your room at a Disney Resort if it doesn't already have one in it. Um, however, that's not guaranteed, but there is usually microwaves at the food court. I know the resort I'm staying at, the microwaves are open and available to use, so I'm going to be bringing these to eat there. Same deal, I have two craft Dinner cups. And then for cereal, so for breakfasts and that, I have a thing of Fruit Loops, one of Corn Pops, and one of Frosted Flakes. The bowl ones are great because it gives you a bowl because obviously you don't really have that if you're traveling. I do have more as well, so I'm going to try to fit as many of these in there as possible. I think I might put some in my carry-on too. These are just little cereal boxes versus the bowl, um, so I can carry them easily to the parks or wherever I want to go with them. And then we got like snack snacks, so these here are just apple cinnamon little bars. I um, don't think I'm going to bring all of them there's eight in here um, but some of those and then i have just like two different types of granola bars here as well that should be more than enough food for me at the hotel um i do plan on eating a lot of food at disney especially food and wine so that should be more than okay i think i might have everything except for my toiletries i definitely feel like i'm forgetting stuff don't get me wrong but i do have a lot of stuff in there so i'm just gonna weigh it to kind of see where we're at Ooh. Oh, 39.4 pounds. So I can do up to 50. We still got a lot of room to go. Just as I was doing that, though, I was thinking of stuff I was forgetting, like charging cords, portable chargers, little things like that. That's stuff that I'm definitely going to want to bring that needs to go in here. Um, but it's still nice to know we have like literally 10 pounds to play with. Okay, so I took everything out and put it back in. I don't know if it's just me, but I can never pack a suitcase right on the first time. I always end up taking it out and putting it back in. So this is a result of the repacking. Here it all is. Um, Hubert, unfortunately, did not make it. We're not doing popcorn this trip, but that's okay. Um, I just want to say again, if you're going to Disney World right now, make sure you're packing a ton of sanitization products. I have Lysol, Clorox wipes, I have wet ones, all antibacterial wipes. I have so many face masks, so many bottles of little hand sanitizer packed, um, which is going to be great. I have so much prepared for the airport for that. So if you are traveling right now, remember, I mean, that stuff is always important when you're traveling, but right now especially, remember to bring that kind of stuff because it's super important. So I'll show you all what I'm traveling with. So this carry-on bag I did get um, at one of those like Amazon warehouses. It was $10. It is a travel back pack and I still need to take the tags off. I haven't used it yet but I do just have my little pillow here, my neck pillow and my face mask. It is from Miniso, Miniso um, at the mall a couple years ago. In the front here I have snacks so I just have a couple little boxes of cereal, granola bars, the whole little bit in case I get hungry on the plane or at the airport. In the next section here um, I have my book Right now I'm reading The People We Meet on Vacation. Um, I have my hand sanitizer in a little baggie. This is my plain hand sanitizer and obviously liquids you need to put in a bag, so I have that there. My mini ears are in here. Um, I have a hand lotion. I guess that also needs to go in the bag because that is also liquid. And then I just have uh, little hair clips, little ponytails in case I want to put my hair up, um, and then some Advil in case I get any sort of headache or anything like that in this section here and my Clorox wipes so I just have the travel size thing right there and those are right with my ears. Next up is the big section. This is like the main section and right in here right off the bat I have my fanny pack um, which has stuff in it which I'll show you in a minute. This is my electronics bag. Right now all I have in here is a portable charger for my phone but I will be putting my laptop charger and my phone charger in here as well. 
I have the sweater that I plan on wearing on the plane along with the shorts I'm wearing in Orlando. I'm not going to pull it all out because it's kind of jammed in there. Fuzzy socks for the plane and then a change of clothes in case something does happen to my luggage or whatever. Um, it's nice to be prepared with that. This bag also does have like a cord on the inside um, so you can hook up like right down here. You can hook up your phone um, inside your bag if you need to use a portable charger and like it it goes right through the bag you don't have to like worry about all that hassle and then I also in here have my portable little handheld tripod um it doesn't extend or anything this is it has a holder on the top of your phone I can use this for vlogging or to take self timer pics or whatever as well photos of myself um, I love having that with me especially when I'm traveling in my fanny pack this is what I'm mainly going to use on the plane um, and also when I get to the parks it'll be nice and handy so in the front um, I just have juicy fruit gum I have my Bluetooth remote gravel very big I get very plain sick and motion sick so that's a big one for me hair ties and my metal reusable straw so all of this will be nice and easy access for me on the plane open it up the middle section right now I just have my sunglasses and my little wallet thing here too and then this big section at the back here I have this little travel thing that I just always bring this is always in my purse or somewhere um, it just has a mini deodorant in it traveling always get a mini deodorant and bring it with you because like you just you never know when you need deodorant um benadryl and more gravel and then some extra like tampons too are in there and this big section here is also where my laptop is going to slide in there is also a security pocket on the back of the bag here um because this will be against my back obviously when i'm wearing it so it's a security pocket and that is where i keep this here which is where I have the keys to my suitcase, um, my passport, and then right now I also have all the information on my COVID vaccinations. So obviously you need to prove that um, before you come back to Canada. Proof of vaccination important, and that's also where I'm gonna put like my boarding pass when I get it and like all that kind of stuff. Other bags I have, I do have an overnight bag since I am staying at a hotel in Toronto before I fly out, so. I love doing that. I love staying in hotels the night before and my plane doesn't leave until like middle of the morning. I'm used to like 6 a.m. flights. This is like a 9 a.m. flight. Um, so it's a little later so we'll actually get to sleep in a little bit at the hotel which is really exciting and yeah I obviously have some last minute things to put in my suitcase here. Everything else that needs to go in I think is last minute stuff. I need to charge all my camera batteries like my Fitbit and that. I need to charge those items that can't be done really until the day before. All my makeup and that cannot be packed really until the day I'm leaving after I do my makeup that day. Um, I also have my waterproof camera which which needs to be charged before that can go in there so a lot of charging items but other than that I'm pretty sure everything is packed so thank you all so much for following along with this little packing vlog I'm so excited to finally be going um, when you're watching this video I will be in Florida I will hopefully be inside of a Disney park in Florida so if you want to check out my Instagram at part of Brooks world to see kind of live updates and what's happening with me throughout the day while I am in Florida make sure you go check that out but if you're watching this a little later know that I am posting Disney vlogs while I am there too and there are other videos coming about the lead up to the trip and an itinerary video and that kind of stuff so make sure you stay tuned for those but thank you again so much for watching this video and have a magical rest of your day